gosh, I'm shaking like a leaf. Former FOW Cup champion. That's what I'm talking about. God has blessed me so tremendously in my career. Up my new nitro and forgot about getting the stat unit where we get signal satellite signal to go live with. So I'm in the first day of the morning, I'm rushing around trying to get the brace put on for the stat unit. Did they tell you, David? Hey, I've got two days of fishing out of this thing. And my first bass in it was a non-scorable. Yes! I'm on them! <laughs> I am on them! Dave Dudley, day one here at Redcrest, boat 17. All right, I hear a lot of intense music. What is today? Today is day one of Redcrest. 300 grand on the line. And yeah, it's pretty intense right now. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna lie about it. 300 grand on the line. You guys saw what I did in the practice vlog. I think we got most of the ingredients. We got wind, we got clouds, and little rain. I don't think they're calling for rain all day, but two of the most important we have going for us today. So, if the fish will cooperate like it did in practice, I'll be okay. If not, that's why they call it fishing. Thank you. 
make it. Ooh, that's a bite. Oh, almost. Almost. Boom, boom. Almost boom, boom. gave up on that that ramp right there five cast five casts it took to get that sucker man they're shallow There he is. John. John. What do, what do I got? One minute 30. Minute 42 seconds left in the first period. Two pounds, seven out. Two seven, scoreable. There we go. Lost one right before it. <sighs> Don't have time for another cast, but that's a good sign. I didn't even know that pipe was there. Just found it just fishing around, but Hey, that's three scoreables in the first period. I don't know where that's going to have me, but I'm liking what I'm doing. I think if I can keep this pace up, we might either climb or stay about where we're at. We're probably uh, top 15 right now, so. Yeah. right there. Darn it. Had him. Don't you do it, you little sucker.
got off too. Dang. Hey, up there. Darn it. There he is. There he is. There he is. That one feels good. Yep. Uh, nope. Ain't gonna make it. They are biting. For sure. We just... period until right now. Oh. Uh, two pounds, two pounds. Cool. We needed that one, guys. We needed that one. We done slipped down to 18th place on score tracker, so top 20 advance. Tell the people how the day went because it looked like it didn't suck. You didn't suck today. Did not suck too bad. I sucked on execution though. Uh oh. Yep. That's not what I wanted. There's your boy, ain't it? Uh -huh. Day 
day two of the red crest. Day two, and you guys saw yesterday, day one. I think we're going, you know, condition wise in March, a lot of conditions play a big role. So we got clouds, we got some wind, and it's still fairly chilly. Uh, but I feel okay about conditions, but fish are bipolar. You never know what they're going to do. So uh, I have a four pound cushion of making the top 20. Hopefully I won't need that cushion and we can make it to the knockout round and get to a tournament where I can throw the Dudley Wacky. I'm tired of bundling up this year. I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of wearing my Alaskan hat. I want to put, I actually put this behind the seat of the truck. I said, we ain't gonna need this no more. <laughs> I had to break out Miss, Mr. Alaska. There's something sharp right there, so I broke them off yesterday, one right there.
why I broke them off. Yes, it was a fish. Suddenly wacky. Finally caught got me a wacky worm bite. There he is. There he is. Yep, sure enough. Son of a gun. All right, what 
what a horrible day like horrible day you live and learn you live and learn you guys saw on the practice video thought I had something going but I'm gonna explain to you a little bit what happened uh, the late come up and this is it and guys I'm not full of excuses this is not excuse I'm just hoping to educate you a little bit about what I saw I'm a, I'm a guy, I, I hate excuses. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and say, shoulda, woulda, coulda, but I didn't. But this is a chance for you guys to understand what I was faced with, but there's still no excuse, none, none. It's all my fault. So, we had rain, the water come up, you guys saw in practice, I had that shad rat bite going a little bit. And, the mud, anytime you have a river system and a hard rain, mud travels through a river system and pushes throughout the creek. It's common sense, right? Common sense. The area I was in the first day of the tournament where I actually had like 11 scorable bites, which is really good. I lost some. You guys saw that. I think, you know, it, clean water was the key, but even though mud is not a bad thing, those fish in that general creek that I was in is typically all clear. That mud push, pushed all the way out to the area I was had figured out. No excuse. But then the, the upper part of that river was uh, getting cleaner. So mud did move in my area. Not an excuse. Mud did move in my area. I think the only thing I could have done and adjusted a little bit better was... Uh, maybe tried some different color crankbaits. I know the fish were there. I just, I, I don't think I adjusted right. Just, if things like that happen, guys, don't get caught up on a color. Uh, don't get caught up on certain things. Just move around a little bit. You know, try, be versatile. I was not versatile, and it cost me possibly the championship. So, live and learn. And hopefully there'll be some more guys i appreciate you guys uh chiming in i do read all the comments i appreciate you guys comment and i will be back at you with another video we're about to enter the dudley wacky worm time of the season i can't wait to get that wacky worm going uh i'm tired of this cold water fishing even though i enjoy it i'm still sick and tired i'm tired of being bundled up guys thank you and I'm out.